What's up guys, and this is my third video, and I'm gonna apologize for me not uploading a video last week. I was kinda like caught up in schoolwork, but today's video is gonna be about how to fix the program not responding problem. Now that problem is like when you open up a program or you're using a program, it suddenly stopped working, but it's still open. It's like the program freezes. You can't do anything to it. You can't minimize it. You can't close it. And you can't use it. Nothing on it responds. Hence the term program not responding. I'm going to tell you how to fix that without turning off your computer. Alright. So let's open any program here. Just for an example. Alright. I got iTunes open. So let's say... This stops responding. Or obviously it is responding, but let's just say it stops. So what you do when that happens is on window if you're on Windows 7, you click you on the keyboard you type control shift escape. And this will come up. This is called the task manager. This serves for a bunch of stuff. As you can see all the applications that are open opening at the moment processes services and a bunch of stuff what you want to do is you want to go to iTunes the program that is not responding you want to right click it and then click go to process once you're here all you have to click is end process here on the, on the right on the right bottom corner and then click end process again and it closes the program Another way to do this, I mean on Windows XP, you would have to con press Control Alt Delete. For but for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, it's Control Shift Escape. Another way to get this task manager open is by clicking on the taskbar and going to Start Task Manager, and it's open. Then you can do the same thing I said before. So guys, that's it for today's video, and I hope you like it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, rate, etc. Thank you for watching. I really, I really like you guys. See ya.